Singmu is a dance of motion within tranquility. Within the restricted movements, one can feel thousands of emotions swirling. Singmu is not to be danced with the body, but rather with the mind. That's why instructors of Singmu always remind students to express their mind rather than copy the motions. Okay, Eva, we've been learning Singmu for the past two weeks. How's it going so far? Well, I realized that I need more time than two weeks. Well, what was so hard about it? Chang Sam. Also, the rhythm is different. And because the motions are slow, you need to be very strong. Oh, well, what was the attractive thing about it then? Oh, I love the atmosphere. It's heavy, but it's deep and very elegant. Okay, that's great. Well, Eva is a student of Korean literature, but she seems to be completely into Korean dance. Today we're going to learn Yangnage Seogi, which is one of the Kukori motions in the traditional Korean dance, Sungmu. Kukori, a tune played by a shaman during a performance. It is the third of the five series of movements in Sungmu. Yangnage Seogi, Yangnage, both wings. Seugi, to raise, one of the dance movements of Kutgori, a dance movement of spreading out both arms as if a bird is raising both its wings. Yang Nalge Seugi what we'll be learning today, is considered one of the most sophisticated movements in Sungmu. It shows the perfection of beauty by harmonizing the suspended Changsam with a one-foot standing pose. Yang Nalge Seugi is the climax of all the Kutgori movements that we've learned so far. Turn slowly to the side with your arms spread. Lower your body towards the floor and your arms should be spread at an angle. This is the spreading of the wings. Be sure to keep your balance and do the shoulder dance. While shoulder dancing, change the direction you are facing and finish. What did you think of the Yangnage Seogi demonstration? The Changsam Gara can sometimes be an animal's wings, at other times it can be an expression of the overwhelming desire for the unreachable. Now let's learn the motion. We'll learn about Yangnage Seogi. Turn fully following the first rhythm. Turn and stand with your left foot raised. Bend your upper body, hold that pose. Stand up. Turn and reverse. Stand with your left foot raised. Down. Turn. Raise your left foot. 
Lower your upper body. Sit lightly. Bend your upper body some more. Good. Now try it without stopping. When doing Yang Nalge Seugi, first stretch out both arms, turn around once, crouch down, then stand on one foot while spreading out both arms. Slowly do the shoulder dance while changing directions, then spread the Changsam upward and finish the movement. An especially important motion in Yang Nalge Seugi is the full lowering of the upper body when standing on one foot. The shoulder dance is in its best form when knees are bent and the upper body is lowered. Let's briefly look at the movements of Eba. When both wings are raised, the overall posture is too high. So, it is difficult to keep your balance when bending your knees. Yang Nalge Seugi, the motions are very slow and elegant. It's not so easy to keep the balance. Also, the way you breathe, it's very important. If we were to summarize all that we learned today, when doing Yang Nalge Seugi, it is important to keep your balance by lowering yourself as much as you can. Be sure to remember that. Foreigners who learn Sung Mu say that the unique rhythm of the Chong Jung Dong, Tong Jung Jung motion is very difficult to learn. While there's no easy way to it, the only way is steady practice. Well, this is all for today. Thanks for joining us and I'll see you next time.